Aquarius. So you have, wealth is not a matter of intelligence, it's a matter of inspiration, okay? So it's about really putting into practice and action whatever inspiration you have in terms of creating wealth. And I think that wealth uh, will follow you, okay? I think that there's been um, like lots of sadness in uh, currently in your energy, but you're coming out of it, okay? So this is for Aquarius. Inner journey, yeah, you've gone through a huge uh, metamorphosis, huge transformation. There's gonna be forward movement coming in, okay? Uh, I don't know, something having to do with an R. I don't know my signals, my signs of the rooms. And then you have present, so be present. All right, you might also get like a gift, and this is about watering your garden and watering whatever it is the truth that you've sowed okay and this is about autumn so something in autumn is coming there's going to be some fruition on something that you've been working on okay that you some inspiration or some sort of endeavor that you've been working on that's going to come into fruition in autumn and autumn is next month so we're almost there okay um you have voice speaking your world so this is about you know uh speaking your truth so uh speaking your world into existence okay so this is about manifestations and speaking your world your world into uh fruition into existence this is collaboration about a new beginning a new endeavor this is east so this is where the sun comes out it's a new portal for you as well and it's a new beginning and you're elevating in whatever endeavor it is that you're taking this is huge absolutely huge okay like the sun is coming up you're gonna be so happy it's a huge huge like announcement all right about some sort of prosperity that's coming to you i don't know my rune so you might check this rune that looks like an r um you know and check that out i unleash my wildness and choose to be free this is going to give you a lot of freedom this is also about uh really following your intuition and moving forward and using your like coyote or wolf instincts i don't know how that came out but anyway let me see if i can find that room definition and um Give me a minute, let me see, just by any chance. Hold on, give me a minute. I just feel guided that I need to look for this. Give me a minute. Oh shoot, hold on. This is taking a lot of time. Um, chariot travel journey evolution right so this is an evolution a journey that you've been going through love it hold on give me a minute one more very interesting okay all right yeah it's journey vehicle you might be getting a new vehicle righteousness inner compass nobility and path absolutely that's beautiful you might have to look for it so that so you're on your path it's an inner journey okay it's a well, that's what it says there. <laughs> that's funny uh inner journey so third eye is uh oh, super open your crown chakra as well am i on the right path you most definitely are sometimes we second guess what we are doing we lose trust in the process and question if we are even on the right path know this you are on the right path keep going keep believing keep remembering that you made a soul contract that you are currently fulfilling in every area of your life even if you can't see it that doesn't mean it's not real today search for all the ways that you are aligned with your soul's purpose the uh, signs will appear. Let this newfound trust fuel your next steps. Yeah, and that's what I told you, like huge like ascension or going up some like uh, levels, okay, spiritually and in material wealth as well. 
okay, whatever it is that you planted by autumn, you're going to be seeing, so you're on the right path. Focus on what is working, okay, that's your target. You probably did like Lionsgate and like Moon Manifestation, so those are coming to fruition as well, okay. This is for Aquarius, very powerful. You have here, you can make it through. Your higher self is always guiding you. What wisdom does your higher self have for you? Beautiful. Protection, know that you're divinely protected, okay? There's this huge prosperity your grounding, your abundance, your healing, your heart, and there's a lot of money coming in, okay? This is gonna come in like a shock, all right, that you've been working on this. And then change, you have huge change here. This is 35 and 35, so check that number out, okay? And they're different uh, oracles. 35 and 35 is also like change in collaboration, so like change in business or change with people that you've collaborated with. Okay, Aquarius, this, uh, uh, I don't know, this concludes your uh, oracle reads. Let's do your tarot. All my students and friends and family, thank you so much for your support. If you're new to the, help, to the channel, please help me grow my channel. I feel I'm divinely guided to, you know, post these um, and, you know, and get the word out. I'm just very different about, you know, the, what I um, can see and what I can predict and, um, I'm a seer, also a dream interpreter. Let's see, Aquarius. So you're leaving this. Um, there is somebody that this is horrible. So there is someone that was not stable at all that betrayed you or you felt betrayed and or possibly there might have been a death. OK, just saying. So I'm sorry if that's it. Um, or this was an ending of a cycle of someone that betrayed you that was not stable, that had you feeling depleted emotionally and uh, financially, okay? And someone moved out or there was a destabilization of a house. This could have also been like a betrayal of like a property or house. Now this has to do with maybe like a, a family dynamic or someone you loved very much, okay? That in the end turns out that they didn't you're resting right now. This could also be some surgery maybe that you're resting from, all right? Yeah, it's an, it's an ending of a cycle, beginning of a new one. This was like maybe a partnership or um, um, a couple, all right? There was some deceit having to do with the higher commitment or some sort of hierarchy. Uh, it could be company or business, all right? You're looking into the future and you do not want to invest in this anymore or this person didn't but i think it's you there was some communication that came in about a third party situation a huge tower moment huge huge tower moment about a third party situation and um betrayal of some sort okay like i cannot like that's that's it right here all right like here huge betrayal all right There might be an apology coming in. I don't see you guarded. That might bring in some justice, but you're not gonna be happy, or you thought that the apology for this would bring in some justice, but maybe it never came, okay? You went back and forth on this, or there was like indecision with this. This is for Aquarius. Um, and someone moved away from this relationship, okay, where there was deceit. There was some information coming in, but you felt like this was not tamed or you couldn't, there wasn't any courage or strength to this, all right? It was about a third party situation or someone that you 
you know, got along with or went out or uh, uh, like love dynamic, you felt that this was not healing and this was not a wish fulfillment anymore, but somebody might be coming back or they already did, okay? This person was very manipulative. They possibly could have ghosted you as well. They could have Aries or you might be dealing with a Virgo or you might have it in your chart. This was an ending of a cycle and this was, um, this was some karma that played out, okay? They might be coming in with an offer after they've left, but I feel that you've ended this and you're not putting in any more effort into it. I think it also costs you possibly some money or property. All right, this person was in and out, doesn't seem to have love for you at all, or at this moment, I don't know, or was sharing their love with someone else. You're not confused in any way, and there was like no collaboration. There wasn't working together with this, and you're just very guarded and have your um, guard up and your boundaries, but also you're working on your money. Somebody's very regretful about this. That there wasn't equal give and take and that it was a no-win situation and it looks like you moved forward. You might also be getting a new car, all right? You're happy because you, uh, you know, cut down all this toxicity and there was an ending to this toxicity and you will, uh, because you're not indecisive anymore and you can see clearly, you will be victorious over this collaboration, all right? You withdrew your love or your, um, you know, yeah, your love or your warmth uh, from this relationship that um, seems like it was a past soulmate, past lover, or childhood friend. There was a lot of, uh, there wasn't a, a true commitment or offer and there was a lot of conflict. Someone is still holding on, okay, but you're not so anxious. It looks like you're probably saving. This was a huge burden. You're not confused anymore and you're moving forward into the future. You might also have a move having to do with work, okay? You're not looking for love right now and you're withholding and you're retracting your love, all right? Because you know that this is not balanced and you're trying to balance yourself out. It looks like there was some secrets that came out and or possibly you didn't follow your intuition. You have been enlightened about some maybe legal issues or someone that was cut off or some truth that was not spoken that came out, okay? You're looking into the future possibly to uh, buy like property far away, possibly a new house or moving um, elsewhere for uh, more stability. You're gonna have some sort of change of position, okay, that's gonna create, that's gonna, uh, you're gonna have some sort of change of position, of job position that will move you like from, like geographically, okay? And this is also a reconciliation possibly, uh, or some karma coming back to you, or not coming back to you, some karma that will be, um, that will be given to you or that you know that that will play out for you that's going to be very stable and very grounded and very independent for you um you don't want a new beginning with this offer that was given in the past that you don't feel was a lost opportunity you found some truth but you're still kind of anxious and thinking about this okay there might have been some legal matters as well having to do with like a family legacy uh family inheritance or family dynamic or money okay but you'll be able to figure it out Love and light.